I'm glad you mentioned that because I mean, I've always set New Year's resolutions since I was 16. I set two or three, and it took me like 10, 15 years to realize I keep setting the same ones over and over. There are some resolutions <laughs> that I set like 15 times. <laughs> uh, and one of the things that occurred to me, I've been living in Montreal 32 years, is that you could not choose a worse time to set a new goal than January 1st in Montreal. It is cold, it is icy, it is wintry. I see you're wearing a scarf <laughs> in your house. <laughs> I'm wearing my sweater. I take public transit. I get all dressed up to get to the public transit. Then I get in the metro and it's like 100 degrees <laughs> in there. And then I start sweating. And then the streets are icy and Every day is a struggle in January. We don't have a lot of light, which can cheer us up. It's freezing cold. We have a long, dreary winter ahead of us. And I think there is no worse time. And what I've begun to do, and I'm really happy I came up with this, I think you should set a New Year's resolution. But I would like to ask you to also set a Canada Day resolution. Canada Day is exactly halfway through the school year or the calendar year. July, so July 1st. 1st. Yeah. July 1st. Now, I've been doing this. So I, I was going to watch uh, with my wife. We were going to watch Downton Abbey, the whole thing. <laughs> it failed miserably. It's a really complicated story. Pretty boring to start, too. So I failed at it, but then when Canada Day came, we tried it again and we did it. And I've done that before, like three times now, where the resolution I had on January 1st, I failed, but then I tried again July 1st. And if you and I were meeting right now and it was July 1st, I would be out on my patio. I'd be wearing shorts. I'd have a Hawaiian shirt on. You would probably be swinging your golf club. July is a really sweet time of the year for most of us. I mean, sure, there's some bugs and whatnot, but life is easier. You don't have as many things to think about as you do uh, in January in Montreal. So that's my last suggestion for you. Do Think of the New Year's resolutions as a practice, a six-month practice. But then, July 1st, try it again. And always the key is, if you could do it for one month, there's a good chance you'll be able to stick with it. So, and that month of July is a great month to do exercise or eat more vegetables or... I'm not sure if it's a great time to quit smoking. That's that's a, a struggle. With quitting smoking, you should probably get a nicotine patch. You should talk to a doctor about the best way to do it. That's why knowledge matters. 